today's diy is going to be for those that have yeast infection vg yeast infection hello beautiful people welcome back welcome here i have one ingredient that you can use this infection is not something that you keep quiet about and you just go to bed hoping that everything is going to be okay. No, no, no. You don't keep it to yourself. If you don't go to the hospital, try to treat it yourself at home. Let me just point out that I'm not saying you shouldn't go to the hospital. Please, by all means, if you feel you're not comfortable, go to the hospital. But this is a DIY and a home remedy for you if you've been battling it. The thing we're going to be using is garlic. Most times when you have a yeast infection, it's nice for you to use antibiotics. But do you know that garlic is like a better antibiotic than many antibiotics that you use? If you feel that your antibiotics are like resistant to what you're treating it for, using garlic is one way that you can easily treat yourself and get rid of whatever thing you're trying to get rid of. Guys, so I'll just show you how you can use garlic or prepare garlic for yeast infection. This is the normal garlic we know, the garlic we use for our food, for spicing our food. I'm just going to get like two cloves of garlic here and I'll remove the skin very shortly. I'm going to be pounding it so I'll put it into my little mortar here. I said this infection is not something you keep to yourself you have to treat it ASAP number one if you don't treat this infection it can lead on to some other things in your body it can affect your kidneys it can even affect like your reproductive organs as well and we don't want that as like seamless as like harmless as it seems this infection is not something that you just keep to yourself it usually starts with that age after some time it starts getting red i'm sure many of us know what yeast infection is and how it does that itching should not just be kept to yourself treat it by all means another thing i'll tell you to take is whenever you have yeast infection there's this like liquid lotion sorry not lotion liquid it's called mist potassium citrate you can get it in the pharmacy you have to look for it you diluting like a tablespoon in water and drinking it three times a day is going to help you greatly for yeast infection so in addition to any antibiotics or the garlic you are taking you can take this as well to help you to dilute everything it helps with urinary tract infections it helps with yeast infections as well so back to my garlic i'm going to be crushing this garlic <music> processing my garlic you can see it is well crushed it's just nice for you to process it this way and crush it so that you're sure that you've exposed the allicin and the garlic and you're sure you're getting all the nutrients of the garlic as well so this is the rest Yeah. 
this. Next, I'm going to be adding boiling water, very hot boiling water or hot boiled water. So you can just leave it for like five minutes to saturate so that all the nutrients and the garlic is exposed into the water and the next thing you would do is to drink it you can drink it with the garlic as well it's very good for you don't remove the garlic please anytime you want to drink it drink it water garlic everything don't spit out the garlic i know you might not want to take it but that's why i didn't add too much i used only two cloves of garlic so guys the garlic is what is really going to help you as well as with the water if you want to chew garlic as well it's okay but taking it in the tea form is going to be of benefit to your body and please drink it while it's still hot or while it's still warm you don't have to make it scald your tongue or scald your throat but take it while it's still warm like so you can take this morning in the afternoon and in the evening if you can't take it three times a day taking it just two times a day is even fine you can have it in the morning and in the evening and it's perfectly good for you please try to take it at least two times a day and the reason why you're also taking the tea is because you need enough water to flush your system so that you go to the toilet very well and you flush out everything that is causing the infection that's why i'm advising you to take it as a tea like i also said earlier on you can mix this in water this is what it looks like just get this from your pharmacy ask for mixed potassium citrate and mix it in water one tablespoon three times a day combining with your garlic water or your garlic tea and before seven days it will be all over but please anytime you have a yeast infection don't keep this to yourself make sure you get it treated so that's it today guys if you enjoyed my video please give this video a thumbs up kindly share this video to everybody you know every female you know out there because you don't know who will be needing this just a simple trick would do justice for them if you've not subscribed to my channel yet kindly use this opportunity to also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this i'd love to see you come back i'd love to see you in other subsequent videos do take care and stay safe Bye!